Hello everyone and welcome back to a Gran Turismo time trial and we're at Watkins Glen if you couldn't already tell in the background. What exactly are we doing here then? We are in the Alpine A110 Premier. We are on sports hard tyres. Gold difficulty I've put as easy because there's not that many break-in zones to be honest with you. And the gold time estimate I've put at a 122.6. I know it's getting close to that already but I don't see that much more time in the lap if I'm brutally honest than a 122.6 for a gold time that is. In terms of these videos, though, if you do like them, do give it a like, subscribe to the channel, stay in touch with each and every guide I produce every single week, as well as other content as well, of course. But it's now time to jump into the lap, and let's have a look how we do Watkins Glen Short Circuit. Now, we're going to head towards turn at one. And on the left-hand side, what we're looking for is that 300 board on the left-hand side. You could try and use the end of the fence if you wanted to, uh, in terms of where it goes from three to two armco areas, but 300 is the best bet there, in my opinion, and the one I would recommend using here. Hard on the brakes, of course, drop down the gears quite quickly there. Use a little bit of the engine braking, turn in. You can use all the kerb on the inside, to be honest with you. That's absolutely fine. Just be careful about running too wide on the exit. It can invalidate your lap straight away from doing it. You don't get any warning there, so stay on the kerbs if you can. Coming up here, you literally you just take the racing line here. Absolutely not a problem. Do have the car a bit more than I'm doing, though, of course, as we continue on through here and head over towards the left-hand side. Now, heading towards the chicane, we've got lots of boards coming up. We've got 600, 500. What we're looking for specifically is the 400 board. We're braking just after that, okay. Now, you're going to go hard on the brakes. And what I would actually recommend is just tapping the throttle a little bit. It'll keep the car in a straight line. Force a bit of understeer rather than oversteer because this car does like a bit of weight transition. Now, you're going to stay in fifth gear for the chicane. It keeps it nice and balanced there as we go over the bumps. Now, do be careful to go through here. Any big bump there is going to throw the car around. That's why you want to be as straight as possible going into it. As you go through this right-hander then, we're slowing down. I stay in fifth gear for this corner. And what I would recommend is looking for that I love New York Marshall box on the right-hand side. Now, you want to accelerate as early as possible. So, you can see I've started accelerating now. If you accelerate as you get to it, that's absolutely fine. But you should already be accelerating before you get to that point. And that's what I'm going to say there. Don't accelerate too early, though. Make sure it's in vision. As we continue on through, we stay in fifth gear. And we're going to head over towards that right-hand side where we're going to look for the penultimate corner now. But as we approach this corner, we've got lots of boards left and right. So use either of the 300 boards here. The one on the right is exactly where you do it. The one on the left is going to disappear just before you break, of course, because um, of vision, etc. Uh, but literally, after the 300 on the left or at the 300 on the right, you're going to hit the brakes. Now, I would recommend staying in fifth gear here, turning a bit later than expected, so around the 100 board there. Clip the apex and accelerate through. Use all the kerb on the exit, of course. Head over towards the left-hand side. And the end of the tyre wall there, where it goes to Armco, is your brake marker for the final corner. This is where you're going to drop to fourth gear for this corner. And what I would recommend is trying to stay around 80 miles an hour on this corner, okay? Around 80 miles an hour. When you know you can make it, then accelerate through. And that's what I'm going to try and do here. I'm just trying to make sure 80, 80. Yes, I do. I make 80 miles an hour there as I continue on through and head towards the line. This lap is a 1 minute 20.6. Let's go on to a fast lap straight away then. Heading towards turn number 1. The 300 board on the left is hard on the brakes. Just double in a little bit. Keeping the car straight. Turn in. Use all the curb on the inside. Accelerate out. Avoiding a track limit penalty there as we continue on through. We can rest up a little bit here. You are going to have to turn in a little bit there. And clip the curb on the inside. Revving the car all the way up the hill here. And just taking a nice racing line. Breathing and preparing for the next brake marker. Of course, the brake marker we are looking for is the 400 board on the left-hand side. And we're just breathing now as we get to there. Of course, everybody can breathe. You're doing it right now. Hitting the 400 board then. There we go. Hard on the brakes. All in a little bit here as we go into here. Of making sure the car stays straight. Clipping all the curbs. Using all the curb on this one as well. Using absolutely every inch of it there as we go into this right-hander. Slowing the car down. Not really using the brakes. Allowing the car to roll. Just have the brakes a little bit there. Accelerating before the Marshall box. Okay. And continue on through. You do not have to hit the brakes at all on that corner. Just want to reiterate that. Let the car roll if you are struggling with the brakes. I'm going to accelerate to the penultimate corner now. We're looking for the 300 board. Just after the one on the left, I'm going to hard, go hard on the brakes. Turn in a bit later there around the 100 board. Clip the kerb. Accelerate out. Use all the kerb on the exit. Over towards the left-hand side. The end of the tyre wall there. Slowing the car down. Fourth gear. Clip the kerb on the inside. And then accelerate through. We're going to head towards the line at this moment in time. And once again, that is a 1 minute 20.6 there for you. And uh, that is how you do Watkins Glen Short in this Alpine A110. 
Now, that is going to be it in terms of this video as well. So, this one is a bit about car control, and it will help you with car control with the overlaying, and that is all you need to know. If you haven't liked it already, do give it a like, subscribe to the channel, stay in touch with all the latest content. But as I say, that is it for me. Now, if you're struggling with last week's weekly time trial guide there, it's there for you to click and have a go at and learn a bit more about it. A lot goes there to subscribe, of course. But once again, a big thank you for all the support on the channel and what you give me. Honestly, I do appreciate it a lot. And I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very soon.